We're going to look at a few more examples using the distributive rule. If you're asked to simplify this expression by expanding the brackets, what you need to do is multiply 4x by x minus 1. So 4x needs to multiply with x, which gives you 4x squared. And 4x needs to multiply with minus 1, which gives you minus 4x. If you're asked to simplify this by expanding, what you're going to first note is that negative, so that you remember that that negative also has to multiply with each term in the brackets. So you're then going to have negative 3x times x, which is negative 3x squared, and then negative 3x times 2y, which is going to give you negative 3 times plus 2 is negative 6, so it'll give you negative 6xy. And then something like this one, again take note of the negative, and first you will multiply negative 3x squared with 5x, so negative 3 times 5 is negative 15, and x squared times x is x cubed. And then you'll multiply negative 3x with negative 2. Negative times negative is positive. 3 times 2 is 6. And so you'll have plus 6x squared. One small point I want you to note is that when we're doing this expanding using the distributive law, what we have is something outside the bracket. And then inside the bracket, we have two terms that are separated either by a plus or it could be by a minus. So that is when you use the distributive law. If you have something like this, where inside the brackets you've got a multiplication, you don't use the distributive law. Because the brackets, when you've just got minus 3x and then the brackets, it's just multiplication. And so really what you've got here is all these things multiplied with each other. So it's minus 3x times x times 2y. No distributive law being used here at all. And this will sort out to minus 3 times 2 is minus 6. x times x is x squared. So you've got minus 6x squared y. The main point I wanted to make here is you use the distributive law when you're multiplying into a bracket where you've got addition or subtraction of terms.